What's happening guys and welcome back to our channel. Spider-Man No Way Home has smashed yet another milestone, becoming the highest grossing film in Sony Pictures' history only days after being the first film of the modern age to hit the $1 billion mark at the box office. It began when Spider-Man No Way Home maintained its box office dominance by grossing $253 million in its third week, the third highest ever. But is Spider-Man No Way Home the biggest movie in box office history? Let's have a look. Number 5. Spider-Man No Way Home With the third best opening weekend in cinema history, Spider-Man No Way Home has soared into the sky. The picture, which debuted on December 17th, serves as the centerpiece of many series at the same time. It's the third film in Tom Holland's solo Spider-Man trilogy, as well as the eighth live-action Spider-Man film since the turn of the millennium across three different chronologies. It's also the fourth film in Phase 4 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and the first to start a returning hero without being a prequel. No Way Home also pays a great deal of respect to Spider-Man's past incarnations. The story continues with Peter Parker after his secret identity has been revealed to the world and follows him as he asks Doctor Strange, Benedict Cumberbatch reprising his role, to cast a spell to prevent the incident from ever occurring. That spell would backfire, compelling Spidey to battle villains from Sam Raimi's Spider-Man trilogy and Mark Webb's amazing Spider-Man movie series such as Green Goblin, Doc Ock, Sandman, Lizard, and Electro. Number 4. Why is No Way Home so loved? Strange's enchantment cracks, causing a multiverse tragedy as villains from Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man franchises entered the MCU. As a result, Spider-Man No Way Home is probably Marvel's most ambitious film, attempting to tie together three generations of Spider-Man adaptations. The three generations of Spider-Man come together to defeat the villains that might destroy the whole world. The Spider-Man No Way Home reviews make it clear that aside from being a great superhero movie, what critics love the most about the film is how it managed to tell a deep and emotional personal story while weaving in multiversal Spider-Man characters and a universe-ending scope. The multiverse concept usually entails that the creative team has infinite choices and thus infinite possibilities for failure. This is why the reviews praise No Way Home's director John Watts for being able to navigate through the chaos and produce an end product that's more than satisfactory. Number 3. Third Biggest Box Office Opening The Webhead continues to be a major franchise for Sony, with Spider-Man No Way Home gifting Sony the third largest global box office debut with $587.2 million. This also marks the largest box office opening weekend for Sony of all time, an astounding, albeit concerning number amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. While it was practically a foregone conclusion that the Tom Holland-led threequel would earn big bucks at the box office, these numbers and statistics have to make Sony extremely proud. Number 2. Tom Holland's Reaction Tom heard some excellent news about another film he just had lined Spider-Man No Way Home while discussing his current project during a virtual interview on February 1st. The host began the conversation by congratulating Tom on the enormous box office success of the movie, even though the Spider-Man actor himself was caught off guard by it. The other movie that you're playing right now, very soon to be the biggest movie of all time, let's start right there, the host said. How does that make you feel? You know, the dream of becoming an actor, and you're this close to having the biggest movie of all time? How does that make you feel? With a look of confusion on his face, Tom turned to someone off camera and then looked back at the host. I think we're a bit a ways away from the biggest movie of the time, right? No? He responded, of course, Tom is actually right here. No Way Home does have a little way to go before it becomes the highest grossing movie of all time. It currently sits at number 3 on the global box office charts. After hearing the then number 4 stats, turning back to the host, the Spider-Man star was lost for words, uttering holy shit as he processed the news. Once he'd come to terms with the numbers, Tom confirmed that this was the first time he heard the latest box office stats, going on to add that he's finding the whole thing pretty unbelievable. 
Wow, that's incredible. I didn't know that, honestly. That's amazing, he said, visibly stunned by the news. Wow, um, I mean, it's mind-blowing. It's honestly mind-blowing. Number one, closing in. Given how well even the lowest-rated Spider-Man films have done at the box office, integrating all three continuities into Spider-Man No Way Home should result in massive revenues, and it might come up at the top at the end. Nostalgia has been a significant draw for recent large-budget films, and this film can tap into the nostalgia of the present generation of youngsters and adolescents, as well as every generation since the millennium began. The fact that the Spider-Man narrative has been reinvented so many times has long been mocked, but Marvel is undoubtedly laughing all the way to the bank. Spider-Man No Way Home is only, concerning its gross revenue, a handful of millions away to hit that number one spot. It's unbelievable, really. It looks like Spider-Man picked up some of that rock star energy from his mentor, Tony Stark. Do you think Spider-Man No Way Home definitely has a shot at being number one at the box office this year? We certainly think so, but what about you guys? Let us know what you think of all of this in the comments down below, and if you enjoyed the video, then do let us know by smashing that like button, and if you want more such content like this in the future, then do be sure that you're subscribed to our channel as well as hit that bell icon so you can be notified of our latest uploads going forward. And with that, I'll catch you guys later in another video. Bye now!